Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has announced that he is going to be constructing his own Kaaba of entertainment. He didn't use the word Kaaba, however, all you have to do is look at a picture of the Kaaba in Mecca and the images of his new project in Riyadh, and it becomes abundantly clear why new Kaaba is an appropriate term. And the symbolism is striking in the manner in which it suggests a relocation of the identity of the kingdom from a Kaaba in Mecca to a Kaaba in Riyadh, from a Kaaba of Islam to a Kaaba of Vision 2030, from a Kaaba of Muslims to a Kaaba for a new Saudi identity devoid of Islamic influence. And altering the Saudi identity is a core part of Vision 2030. In fact, the announcement of this new Kaaba comes just a week before the day commemorating the founding of the kingdom in which Bin Salman has ordered historians to change the year of the founding of the kingdom from 1744 to 1727. In other words, he's ordered them to erase the role of the Islamic cleric Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab as a founding father of the kingdom in order to present the founding as a nationalist tribalist endeavor, not an Islamically infused one. For those who don't know, Al Saud were a minor clan on the outskirts of Riyadh for generations until Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab comes along, makes a pact with Muhammad Al Saud, and the two go on to change the face of the Arabian Peninsula. Even in the new emblem bin Salman has introduced to commemorate the kingdom, there is no reference to Islam. And the, even the picture of the old capital, Dir'iyya, is presented without any of its minarets. And in hindsight, the symbolism was perhaps evident early on when bin Salman entered the holy mosque in Mecca in 2019 with a heavily armed presence who cleared the area for him and then he audaciously and defiantly stood on top of the Kaaba in a move that caused an uproar in the Muslim world. In hindsight, it's almost as if he sought to symbolize his intention to subjugate the Islamic influences in Saudi in favor of his vision 2030. And today, even the General Entertainment Authority led by his right-hand man, Turki Al sheikh that has introduced the giant raves, the bikini beaches, the nightclubs, that has invited Nicki Minaj to perform in the kingdom, has announced that it is embarking on its first project in Medina, in the Prophet's Mosque.